it's been asked for and asked for and asked for over and over again. And despite our reluctance to relive the atrocity of cinematic shit that was The Last Airbender, we're doing it. We're doing the Nostalgia Critics review of The Last Airbender. Or... Oh, Jesus. Or... We could not do that. We have to. No, we don't. Why not? We make our own rules. We do what we want. Ben. You know I'm right. This has been demanded for so long. And I feel and like... what are we if not contrarians? We could sit and look at flying chicken McNugget pictures. You may be a full contrarian, pictures. but me, I... But me, every we night... We but could me. look at cute pictures of a bat. <sighs> no, we're not. We're bringing it bat. Look, that bat is so fuzzy. He's so cute. Look, it does, he, so's Chico. So's Chico. Yeah, except he, he does. Except he doesn't like eat bugs that I know of. Oh, oh he, well, he probably eat a bug. He, he's eating bugs. Can he fly? Look, trust me, that's my one fear. Jesus, it's like that, like the gremlin that drinks that potion and turns into a bat monster. And it's like an too. obese homing pigeon. Why would you bring up Gremlins 2? Because it's fantastic. Bat. No. Gremlins it's so good. Awesome. It's so good. Gremlins oh, 2. Oh. You know what? It was the bat one and the spider the one. The spider was terrifying. The and then the fancy British one. <coughs> no, I thought he was hilarious. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was terrifying. Oh, God. One of them was Total Biscuit. Ooh. What What we want is What's civilization. Like, civilization. What? <laughs> all of us. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. So, yeah, and okay. the electrical one was pretty funny, too. Oh, best movie ever. After it's Grand one of the best. One. It's In terms of puppetry, it's one of the best movies. All right, so. I love puppets. So, anyway. So, anyway, the nostalgia critic, The Last Airbender. I, uh, okay. Avatar, The Last Airbender, the TV series. It, to me, is one of my favorite it's animated shows good. of all time. It's quite good. And uh, Legend of Korra it. itself is also really good. I will take your word for it. And, uh, it's, okay, it's you seen. haven't seen them? No, I have no oh, idea. Oh, boy. Micah, okay, you know what? That might be a reaction series. That might be a reaction series we might do. We're going to have to bring Jacob in because Jacob also has not seen those. And, you know, has Jabokabo talk- has not seen them. Yeah, he's, he's talked about wanting to watch it. And I've been like, dude, we should watch it. And then he goes, so you know yeah okay that's well, right Jacob I'm calling you out alright Jabokabo yeah, yeah, you heard him you heard him you have been called you, you out he called down the thunder wall and now you have to answer yep and his answer's probably gonna be but I don't uh, wanna no I mean I wanna just play Super Mario Odyssey now he's like but I could be asleep or look or I could be irresponsibly buying more yarn than I need or you could be... Yeah, I'm pushing ja- it a little bit, aren't I? Or, so or I know like what you could do, Jacob. Stab I know what you could do, Jacob. You could be getting a job. Whoa, okay. I'm Don't. just joking. I'm just joking. Whoa. That went too far. Okay. Okay. Poor right, Jacob. So. I don't really know Jacob, but poor Jacob. <laughs> poor Jacob. Poor us for having to deal with him. Jacob's good. Jacob's Jacob is fine. A cool Hi, guy. Jacob. I don't know. It sounds Hi, like you guys need to knife fight it out. Well, he's a mod on our chat now. God help us all. Jeez. Him and Michael and Carly. They're all mo- they're all mods. God help us all. I know, right? <sighs> so anyway, yeah. we're gonna do this. <clears throat> Last Airbender, nostalgia critic. Let's get the uh, video on screen, <sighs> and here we go. Water, earth, fire. Long ago, the three seasons lived together in harmony, but then everything changed when the Shyamalan attacked. Good. <laughs> Only the avid jerk, master of ripping films apart, could restore balance. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. Several years passed, and my brother and I discovered (laughs) the new avid jerk, a reviewer named Nostalgia Critic. And although his critiquing skills are great, he still has much to learn before he can save anything. But I believe Nostalgia Critic can save the franchise. That that was well done. Yes. But also, oh god. <laughs> Book Secret, one of one. Great. Secret Fire Inferno. Destiny. Bad. The Hot Air Temple. Good. Concentrate, critic. Absorb every episode of Avatar: The Last Airbender to review the movie. Why can't I just watch the shows again? It would take too long, and the franchise has suffered enough at the hands of the fuck up Lord Shyamalan. 
That's why you need to get in contact with a past life to see if any of them have seen the show. Thus absorbing it into your memory. You mean like how you should absorb a new hairstylist? Ow! You know, I thought bloodbending was supposed to be taboo. Like, nobody should have that unlimited control. Well, M. Night Shyamalan keeps getting unlimited control and nobody's stopping him. That's true. Ah! Now concentrate harder! Good. <coughs> Stupid bloodbending. Wait. Oh, yeah. He, he I, did a did a I whole series getting, where he watched all of them. Yeah. I think I'm getting visions from another life. I'll just go through an episode a night. It's just the right balance. Avatar, my new favorite show. Still one of my favorite shows. My god, it, it's coming to me. Ingenious writing, brilliant characters, and a fan base obsessing over name pronunciation rather than the meaning of each episode. By god! It's coming to me! You got it, Critic? Yes! Avatar is one of the greatest TV series of all time! Good. Now you're ready to review the fuck-up Lord's disaster opus. But oh, wait. Just because I know about it doesn't mean the people at home know about it. How are we gonna catch them up to speed? Uh, Katara? Katara. No. Spoiler. 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 Go to this part if you haven't seen the show yet. Okay, should we skip this because Mike hasn't yeah, seen it? Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Chester A. Bum. Well, but then. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. You'll you'll be fine. There's a this flying movie animal is judging by the beginning, the film actually hard. looks pretty promising. Reenacting the visuals to the show's <laughs> intro rather flawlessly. Even the text scroll isn't really that bad. Though, how is it a season with twenty episodes can get their backstory out faster than an hour and a half movie can? The Avatar was the only person Avatar? born amongst Jesus. all the nations. Oh. Who could master all four elements? And then a hundred years ago, he just disappeared. But sadly, we witnessed the greatest weakness of any Shyamalan film. The, they start talking. Yeah, the dialogue. My brother and I live in the Southern Water Tribe, which was once a big city. Food is scarce. My brother and I often go hunting for food. Yeah, way to use food twice in the same sentence, Academy Award nominated writer. Our father's Ooh. off fighting in the war. My mother was taken prisoner and killed when I was young. This boar bending you're witnessing is being performed by siblings of the Water Tribe named Katara and Saka. And yes, the climate is looking much whiter than usual. And I don't think taking away the snow is going to fix that any. This is curious, as in the show, Katara and Saka definitely seem to have an Inuit design. And that makes sense. Their upbringing is very similar to Eskimo culture. Strangely enough, the rest of the village seems to have this down. But with these two... I think Kathy Bates from North was a more convincing fake Eskimo. Oh, but I'm not here yeah. to judge the color of their skin, only the quality of their acting. And I'm sure if these two acted so well that they just seemed perfect for the part, like nobody else could do it better, maybe we can overlook the color difference and see past all that. I watched what side of the fin tracks are more indented. That shows you which direction they're going. I what? saw how long the drag skids are. That oh. shows you how what? Oh, yeah. no. Jack, okay. Jackson Rathbone more famous for being in Twilight than than this movie. And Nicola Peltz, who actually can be a pretty good actress. I saw because she was in Bates Motel and she actually was pretty good in that. But here But this is a different world. Okay. Jackson Rathbone, I haven't seen him in much of anything else. I wonder why. Yeah, you're probably right. Mm -hmm. But as for but as for Nicola Peltz, she still is she still is a semi-common fixture in, in some productions. So, thankfully, one of the careers wasn't completely destroyed by Shyamalan. Just being thankful for that. You know what? I'm going to look up what else Jackson Rathbone's been in. Because, uh... Okay. Now you've got me curious. Oh, he's so fuzzy. Oh, get off of it. No, it was the first thing I pulled up. Seriously. Okay, let me... <laughs> and I'll look up Nick, and I'll look up Nicola Peltz. I hope that never dies. Uh, there she for is. those of you who don't know, go look up the uh, uh, Yuma Myotis. Holy a cute crap, she's fuzzy young. Bat. She's a cute fuzzy bat. Holy crap, she's only 21. Jesus. Okay, filmography. Uh, let's see. He was in The O.C. Oh. He was in... That explains a lot. Hurt. Cleaner. He was on an episode of Criminal Minds. Okay. Um, no Ordinary Family. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. What? 
Okay. Oh, okay. City well, of Dead Men, The Last Ship. Thank. Yeah. Okay. I'll say this much. Things aren't looking good. <coughs> because she was in two of the Transformers movies. Oh. And she no. was in Marvel's Inhumans. Oh. Enough said. Jesus. Whew. Feels bad. Did, is is Inhumans even aired yet? Yes. Oh, it's already been canceled. It's, oh, it, really? Yeah. Oh. It it was the lowest rated TV pilot in I think like thirty years. Wow. Oh, it, it was bad. It had a zero on Rotten Tomatoes for like the first two weeks it was out, and then some jackass wrote a positive thing about it, saying, "I seem worse." Huh. Well, that's it, interesting. Yeah. It, I didn't. I didn't even think it had come out yet. I had. Oh, heard dude, it, it, it it was horrible from from what everyone has said. Actually, from even from like some of the promotional stuff that I've seen, it's terrible. T -t 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 terrible. Well, it's weird because Marvel keeps churning out weird <coughs> series because, well, they're coming out with like what the Gifted and then now the Runaways. Well, okay, it's aren't these all like X Men spinoffs? Uh, so. Runaways is not an X Men spinoff. Mm. Um, oh no, that's but right. they did one before though. Wasn't there a different one I before don't know. the Gifted? Uh, uh, like an X Men series. Okay, with, like, we're, it had... we're getting a little too far, uh, hey, guys, guys, guys. No, you're you're thinking of, oh, it was on FX. What you... it it's with was Aubrey Plaza? Oh, gosh, was Aubrey Plaza in it? Yeah. All right, let's let's rein this in, guys, because we gotta we gotta continue um, with this. But we can we can talk about that after. All right, let's get back to the. All right. Review. How fast? No. They both succumbed to the dreaded Hayden Christensen syndrome. No one. It's taking anybody away. Please wait here. What could he do? Aren't there spirits here? They were looking for someone with the same markings. Stop this! Your monotone can break glass! Are you the Avatar Ong? <laughs> Jesus. But they come across something while hunting. Oh, hey. It's, uh... There's something under there. The it's a good ground. movie trying to get out. Kill it! Oh, hey. They discover a boy named Ang frozen in an iceberg, along with his... Where the wild things Blanca. are mascot, Blind and take him bison. back to the village. So, if this kid's acting just as bad as the other two, the I'd say on like awkward shots where people look directly into the camera. How'd you get all the way out here? I ran away from home. We got in a storm. It wasn't very smart. I was just upset. Thanks for saving me. Lucky. Jesus. I probably should get home. This are you this not still upset? Not as much as I was. Okay, seriously. Am I watching a school play? This all seems like a school play. I mean, I know they're kids, I shouldn't be so harsh, but did anybody give these little pipsqueaks some direction? I no. Maybe this. Sokka, the funny and inventive wisecracker, who always has a ton of funny lines in the and show, can lighten the up the voice. Mood. What would is you do right. if they try taking yes. away? The I voice is right. But, <laughs> and the actor actually has and the actor actually has martial arts training. Like a lot of martial yeah. arts training. And, like Yeah. He he could have done well in that role, I yeah. think. Well, he's actually gone on to other things, and he's he's actually... Good. That's he good. He was in uh, Cowboys and Aliens, and actually he, a lot of people considered him one of the highlights of the film. I think it's probably a, a lot on the director. Is it is. Awesome. Gee, you think? It yeah. is. It's just, like the George, it's just like George Lucas making Samuel L. Jackson sound like a monotonous n dolt. This party's over. And, yeah, it, and it's like... The oppression what? of the Sith will never return. It's like, Sam, come on, throw a motherfucker in there for just good measure. <laughs> it's like it's like, motherfucker, you yeah. ain't be you ain't gonna be no emperor no more. Legion was the name of the show. Legion. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like he was Charles Xavier's <coughs> son. Oh guy. yeah. Yeah, the, the guy okay. with uh, It was he weird. Es he essentially had split personalities and each personality had a different mutant mm -hmm. power. It was, okay. It was weird. Yeah. So all right, so There, I fixed it. Yeah, the biggest and another okay, another thing that yeah. What would you do if they try take me away? I'd kill them all. <laughs> Sokka, Sokka is supposed to be funny, but no. Sokka is also supposed to be the really sarcastic, just like. <laughs> and instead, he's. So I'd thank the Lord for the peace and quiet. Please don't do this. There must be another way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that scene's supposed to actually be really sad. We it make is. a wrong move, they'll catch him. But he actually <laughs> did say something pretty funny to, to try and, to try and. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did they confuse funny and inventive with constipatedly angry all the time? Yes. He's the biggest Angsty. stick in the mud the movie has to offer, and that's saying a lot. There's a lot of sticks in the mud in this movie. 
They're on a ship. We'd need a miracle to catch them. I know you think everything's going to work out, but I don't. Oh, Jesus, boy, lighten up! You look like you're gonna shit out a soap opera every time you're on screen! Oh. Can't be a coincidence that we break him out of the ice, light trips into the sky, and oh, then the fire with their nation! Thank but you, Sokka. Up. Thank you, real Sokka. When the evil and sinister Fire Nation arrives. Oh, we blow, we blow. Oh, we blow, we blow. The hell this is Prince close. Zuko, a firebender who is looking to capture the Avatar so he can be unbanished and get his honor enough. back from his no. father the king. In the show, the father burned almost half of his face off. Here, I think he forgot to put sunblock under his eye or something. Yeah. I'm taking you to my ship. If you don't come, I'll burn down this village. I'll go with you. Another interesting note, in the movie, the Fire Nation seems very Indian or Middle Eastern. Another curious choice, as the show had a much heavier lean towards Japanese. Yep. In yeah. fact, their skin was lighter than our main heroes. And here, it kind of seems perplexingly reversed. I don't want to make an unnecessary racism argument, especially seeing how an Indian man directed this, but I will let out a very concerned and very troubled... Huh? But hey, if you can't yeah. see the obvious similarities between the movie's designs and the show's oh. designs, clearly yeah. you haven't drank enough cactus juice. I mean, God, can ah, you guys imagine juice. constantly misrepresenting characters by constantly getting their skin colors wrong? Shameful. Unforgettable. <laughs> so Zuko comes Thank and you. takes Aang away. Thus, Sokka and Katara decide they have to go after him. Why? Well, again in the show, it's because they formed a strong, unbreakable friendship with him. They, they spent didn't time even get getting to know him, right. warmed up to his offbeat personality, <laughs> and found they couldn't let an innocent that they've gotten to know so well be tortured by the Fire Nation. But pff, hell with that bullshit. Let's make it more like that stray turtle you found on the curb of the road. We found that boy. He's our responsibility. We should fight. We I promise I'll feed him and boy. take him on walks. But yeah, the grandmother take, reveals that Aang is in fact the Avatar, the only one who can master all four elements and communicate with the spirit world. Aren't there spirits You don't here? look anything like Grand yes, Grand. There are some spirits that live hidden among us. I'm sure they're watching us with great sadness. Or maybe that's the audience. Either way, great sadness. Zuko and his uncle Iroh give Aang a test and see that all the elements gravitate towards him. Even though this never happens anywhere else in the movie, nope. but screw it, we have a hastily rushed escape scene to film, which in the series demonstrates quite clearly how the firebenders do everything in their power to stop them, but here they just kind of blankly stare at them getting away. Flying out. But if blank stares could kill, they still probably get away. Yeah. Oh, Office and you ever wonder how he was frozen in that iceberg to begin with? Well, once again, the original ingeniously tied in both backstories of Zuko and Aang together and show that upon his discovery of being Avatar, he couldn't take the pressure and ran away. Being mm -hmm. pushed to the brink of despair and froze himself before drowning in the storm. By using the Many Avatar consider state. this to be the best episode, seeing how it shows the similarities between our hero and our villain. Yep. Good thing it's just a sentence and a half explanation here. The person talking about it doesn't even show up on screen. He told us how he left there in a storm on Appa and got forced into the ocean where they almost drowned. Ong airbended a sphere around them and he couldn't remember anything after that. But hey, that's just one of the minor major plot devices that probably should have been explored more. <sighs> Missing also is Suki, Jed, the pirates, Boomy, the fortune teller, the warriors of Kyoshi, Saka's sense of humor, Katara's strength and motherly wisdom, and any form of fun and enjoyability that the show was so good at balancing out. But it's okay. Because we have that guy from The Daily Show. <laughs> that guy, yes. I love that guy. <laughs> so Aang and his that team go to his me. home in the Every time. Still but he gets thinks me. he'll find the monks that raised him. Monkey Atsu's going to try and jump out and scare me at any moment. He's kind of like my father. Is it okay if you tell me your name? The monks named me on. But wait a minute! Wait. You traveled all this way, all this distance, and not once did you ever ask him his name? Yeah, it's, You know, for uh... a kid you claim to be your responsibility, getting his name might be the most important step in protecting him. Yeah. Imagine if you did something basic, like lose him in a crowd. Help! I lost my little boy! He's my responsibility and I can't lose him at any cost! Well, what's his name? I... Starts with an A, I think. Alice? I'm gonna say yes. 
And by the way, just a fun little tidbit, they do pronounce the names different from the show as well. My name is Ong. I'm Aang. Sokka. Sokka! My name is Iro. General Iro. To harp on this would be Iro too hypocritical, Marco. but luckily the film gives me so much more He's than great. I can harp on. Yes. Like this one. After disguising Aang as a Jawa, they come across a boy <laughs> named Haru, infinitely younger in this version, who is chased for cool. bending stones at Fire Nation soldiers. That child is being arrested. For what? He was bending tiny stones at us from behind a tree. He dared to kill a king's dare. <laughs> so they place them all in a prison of earthbenders where... Oh, uh, yeah. Wait a fuck! This is the prison for earthbenders? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I know it gets really annoying every single time I say in the show because it's an adaptation. Adaptation, you gotta make changes. I understand that. I really understand that. But it's gotta be changes that make sense. Guys, that's yeah. like putting me so, in a room full of 1911s, the and they're show, all loaded. Yeah, the prison is on a metal <laughs> ship where no earth bending is possible, and thus I mean, until somebody it breaks their spirit bending, because they can't get away. It, they are powerless to stop to, them. It's fine. Here, they're fucking surrounded <laughs> by that stuff. Aang makes a big speech about rising up and fighting back. Except where in the show it's, it's justified it's, and Katara, Katara, but still justified because there's a big risk. They have something to lose. Here, it's like saying walk through a revolving door. There's nothing to be lost. It's like having an ice cream bender at Baskin Robbins and saying, how the hell am I going to... You're an ice cream I love that guy, bender. by the way. You that guy's great. fucking mind! Doug is really red in the face. Oh, man. This. Sure enough, they do start fighting back, and it's about time. I want to see some badass earthbending effects brought to life by some state-of-the-art effects. Wait, what? 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 How much money? How much money was used in this film? I'm, How much? I'm, I'm on How it. much? I'm on it. Hollywood! You needlessly throw CGI. Okay, you can CGI the top of friggin' Superman's lip in the new Justice League, but you can't. What the? Mm. Just. The budget. Hell. Do Do you really want to know? Yes. One hundred and fifty million. Oh, hey, we're going. Wait, fuck! Sorry, I had to pause it again. <clears throat> no, 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 leave leave it for a second. Just, just, okay. Now let, let's just breathe. Yeah, I know. I know. Let's just take a minute. We're just gonna... Okay. I don't I don't want anything or anyone to be hurt. <coughs> we have a lot of expensive equipment. I know. I'm not hey. I know. I know. I'm just I'm worried about you, buddy. <sighs> the name pronunciation doesn't really bother me cuz in the cartoon they're super anglicized. Like Asian cultures don't have those vowel sounds. Eh, that doesn't really bother me that much. Yeah. <sighs> oh. What? What? Just say it. I'm not going to... I'm. It is currently the fourth highest grossing Nickelodeon film behind the Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and The Adventures of Tintin. I wonder how The Adventures of Tintin... Not sure what to do with that information. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't... <clears throat> Really do anything with it? Oh, Adventures of Tin Tin was was apparently really good. Oh yeah, I, I watched I, I, it. I, I watched never, it. It was really good. I never got it to was, see it. It was it uh, was Steven Spielberg and Peter Jackson collaborating, which was brilliant. Oh, that's lovely. Oh yes, very nice. I uh, very very nice. I really wanted to see it, and I just I <sighs> never got around to it. All right, I'm 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 done with my I'm I'm I've stewed enough. Let's oh let's, okay all let's, right. I'm let's just continue. I'm just making sure. Okay, let's keep going. That is an is that man. really the extent of your imagination, Shyamalan? 
Is that really the wide so that scene range was there wasn't more of possibilities rock stuff. that you could pull off? I mean, they, they did the wall, right? Which that was is cool. Earth you know, and that, that other a very one typical little... thing. Earth bending. <laughs> earth bending. Taking the elements of Earth, the fucking planet, the and brand. bending it to your will throw a rocket and this is the poor fuck ass piece of shit you could come up with (laughs) wow okay let me me give you a crash course or a reminder as someone who has clearly seen the show what just one one earthbender can do one that was all one earthbender in every single one of those scenes now Doing Let's see what the crazy cool shit. Five, five, five Six. of your shitty ass earthbenders from your piece of fuck film could accomplish. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Don't worry, guys, I'll get him. Well, what are those guys that. even doing? He's now, doing all the work. Just as a friendly reminder, yeah. this is what five guys could do in that other show you claim to be such a big fan of. Flip a tank. Yep. That was a tank! A fucking tank! Yeah. Five guys! Tank! Thank you, Doug. What did your pussies do again? Your version? There! Your version? There! Your version there! Your version there! Your version there! What's the matter with you? Yeah. Have you no passion for possibility? Have you no understanding this barrel of Miyazaki that you could unleash with this creativity. It's true. I mean, yeah. what is your major malfunction, you sucker of talent and good? What is going on in your head? Please, contact me. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know what the flying fuck has caused you to become so uninspired when this stuff has practically gift-wrapped it for you and just said, make me incredible! Make me Please, get in contact with me! Get in contact! Critic, you have to bring balance back faster. What? Why? Turn on the TV. Faster? And now a message from Shyamalan. What? Greetings. Oh, hey. I am Shyamalan. I know many of you were disappointed by my theatrical addition to the Avatar franchise. Theatrical atrocity. Correction. Also, if I may, Go ahead. speaking with your hands when your face is covered, very important. Yes. Very important. Yes. Because you need... It, emoting is huge. Yeah, any type of expression, whether Other, it's... Otherwise, you know, <clears throat> it, you could just be, you know, just be overdubbed, you know, just stand there. You could be red You're, versus blue. You could be red versus blue. But, of um, course, they had the head nodding like... When I can't mm-hmm. kidnap you, I'm going to just cross my arms across my chest. When I talk through my mask. Hello. I hate you so much. Hello, bitch. I appreciate Tolliver. that. It makes me I, strong. You know, I can, I can actually see that his arms crossed and he's just like, Hello, Benjamin Tolliver. Well, at that you point, it's nice. like... You have been, I don't even care who you are. Somebody, you're... It is a puppet sitting there and somebody is overdubbing it. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's not intimidating. No, it's really That's not. That's never going to be intimidating. I don't care what you think, Jigsaw movies. Hello, Mr. Shyamalan. I would like to play a game. Oh, wait, I've played this game already. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, I, I played this game with uh, everybody's hopes and dreams when it came to the Avatar movie. I completely murdered them. And you wondered why you were here or why? What that twist? <laughs> oh God! I mean, you can kind of see his eyes. Yeah. But I mean, okay, we're—they're mocking <coughs> the villain, the first villain in Legend of Korra. Yes. Is what they're what they're doing here? Just so yes. We've been right in. I mean, which was—I'm not sure what I should do with that information. Which was right absolutely here. a fantastic motherfucking villain. He was a great villain. I uh, loved him. That series answered so many of my problems with the show in the first two episodes. Anyway. Okay. Let's get back to it. Well, I'm here to tell you that my power to destroy great art has grown 
even stronger. For you see, I have discovered how to take any performer's acting ability away. <gasps> He's bluffing. No director is that bad or powerful. And for those who don't think I'm that yeah, bad that was, or powerful, yeah. just look at what I did to Mark Wahlberg in The Happening. Oh, that's what? right. What? No. The toxin? Talking to a plastic plant. Oh! But that's a critically acclaimed actor! He's mastered the art of talent bending. I plan to use this power to destroy the Avatar franchise once and for all. How, you may ask? I plan on doing a Legend of Korra movie. <gasps> but that's a fresh start, a chance to get a new audience. Rest assured, the franchise will be destroyed forever once the Legend of Korra has been shamalized. And for a certain avid jerk who might be listening, I have only this to say. Stand down. No critic has ever been able to stop me before. If you do not, I will suck out what little talent you had to begin with. That is all. <laughs> well, Critic, it seems that all hope of the franchise rests with you. Critic and gone. he's gone. Yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Bring him back. <laughs> My cat Are you sure we have the right guy? Man, bloodbending is such a big cheat. It is. It really is. Nice. Okay. After discovering the Abbot Jerk, a new plan is revealed that Shyamalan will unleash his greatest evil yet to the Avatar franchise. Will the starter critic and team be able to bring balance in time? And more importantly, will this review keep focus as to which series it wishes to satirize? So, so they're given some humor. bending scrolls also, by Master a guy Mickey Mouse, do but Aang explains that he can't bend Sorry. all four elements. We should go visit some of these towns off. I need to tell ah! you something. Oh. I ran away before they Friggin came. Wide angle Lay off the close-ups, guy! He looks like he's transforming into Paul Giamatti! <laughs> you can practically see the wow. yeah, They're so You're close. not wrong! Water comes after air in the cycle. Air, water, earth, fire. <laughs> They decide now to finally go to the North Pole to have the Great Masters teach him waterbending. Meanwhile, Commander Chow, I guess, is talking to this other guy who puckers his lips so much, I swear he's waiting to be kissed by him. Our spies have discovered someone claiming to be the Avatar. They describe him as just a boy. We should set a trap for this person. Let's hope, for your sake, my son doesn't find this person first. Wait a minute. That's the Fire Lord? That's the great badass villain in all this? That's the fuck? Show, do your thing! Mm -hmm. The Fire Lord was built up big time. Oh, yeah. Always kept in shadow until the final season. He was like the Dr. Claw of this show. And when he finally was revealed, he wasn't a monster or anything, but he was still intimidating. Even the picture Zuko stares at in the film looks like the original Fire Lord. Yeah. But this? This? This is the most common, non-threatening person you could put in this role. It's like they grabbed a guy at the grocery store and dressed him up as Biggest Dickus. Hell fever! Hell! Biggest Dickus is more intimidating than him! He at least is played by an actor I know is dead, which kind of has the ghost value. Yeah? Yeah. It's more intimidating than this! <clears throat> That's true. So Aang goes on his own to the Northern Biggest Air Dickus. Temple to see if he can find any monks. <laughs> he finds a villager who shows him a room filled with all his past lies. And in my opinion, the majority of the problems with this movie can be summed up right here. See if you can spot why. Now, how did the airbenders know you were the Avatar, little one? They gave me a test, put a thousand toys in front of me, and asked me to choose four. I said I chose the same four objects that belonged to the previous Avatar. Don't see it? Allow me to explain. You have a great setup for an emotional moment. Mm, yep. Aang is seeing all his past lives. Mm. The power and weight of who he is should hit him at this very yep. point. Yep. But instead, what do they do? Try to explain more exposition. It's a ceremony when everyone bows to me. A 
just want to accept my role as the avatar. But when everyone bowed, I didn't bow back. And that is the problem. Whether you're aware of the show or you're not aware of the show, the movie is all explanation with no humanity. Yeah. Why do you think they waited 20 minutes of the film to ask him his name? Because that's not what was most important to Shyamalan. The identity? Who gives a shit? It can't be nearly as important as explaining. As you know, I conducted a raid on the Great Library, which most said didn't even exist. And explaining. There are really powerful vendors in the, in the Northern Water Tribe. My dad told me about it before he left. And explaining. It has been confirmed that he's traveling north. It is my strong belief that he is traveling to the Northern Water Tribe. And explaining. If we keep them to the courtyard and the marketplace till night falls. I don't fucking care! Out. And you know why? Because I never once heard anyone in this movie say, I feel this, or I like this, or I wonder this. Yeah. There are no emotions being addressed. Traditional storytelling is setting up a character, sending them on their journey, and learning more about them through their journey. Last Airbender is just chess piece storytelling. Character goes here, character goes there, character says this, pawn to king four. So, in this scene that should yeah. have been the emotional pinnacle of our main star, it's just more explaining about what happened rather than why it happened. So, you pardon me if rather than be concerned when the villager betrays him to the Fire Nation, I ask that you remind me what you revealed about him that's worth giving any investment whatsoever. This isn't me being angry that it's different from the show. This is me being angry that it's missing the most essential element of telling any story. If the character can never express any emotion, why should the audience ever express any emotion? Pause it. But yes, while... It's funny that he's actually just describing every Shyamalan movie after... Sixth Sense? What? No. no. Thank you. Thank you for going with me on that. Uh, I I wasn't really expecting you guys to go anywhere with that, but you no, know no, what? No. I'm glad you did. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the no. The only movie that made me uncomfortable around Zoe Deschanel. That's true. Although although I will say this, the nostalgia critic uh, saying saying it, she looks like she's she looks like she just shit her pants and she's afraid to tell anybody. And then and then you look at it and you're like, oh no. And the, those face those facial changes. Those little facial tics. Toxins. Talking to a plastic plant. <clears throat> it's pretty easy to tell the plant <clears throat> plastic before you start talking to it, Mark. Well, Mark. Let's I think not we've got blame a transformer. Mark Wahlberg. Let's not blame God. Mark Wahlberg. This plant is a transformer. It's plastic. I think we found a new transformer. Is a. Uh, this plant is more than meets the eye. Is he a car parked in Harvard Yard? No, but I lost my khakis. Uh... See, the thing is, like, what he's talking about, I'm sitting here going, wait. Everything I've ever seen about Shyamalan past the sixth sense, mm -hmm. you know, the film that made him, mm -hmm. has been like this, mm -hmm. you know. There's no emotion being shown. All exposition. At all. All exposition, no emotion. There's there's nothing really else to say about him nowadays. He thinks he can just live off of the twist, and people will just be like, oh, that was such a great film because the twist saved it. No. No. <clears throat> but what? even like when the you're big, a one trick pony. Like, the twist in this movie isn't even something relating to one of the main characters. Mm. You know the twist in this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody who's seen the show knows the twist in this movie. Mm -hmm. And it only relates to Sokka. Mm -hmm. And we and Sokka is such like a a bastardized version. It's. I mean, it's not even Sokka. It's closer to being Zuko. No, well, actually, no. Because... Wait, what's the twist? <clears throat> that, okay. The, well, you'll find out. You'll, you'll find you'll out. You'll get think, there. Think, Don't worry. There. He's going to discuss it. But So, Jackson Rathbone, I... If I met him in person, I'd probably think he was a nice guy, but him as an actor in this film... I gotta how, say, how would we know if he's a nice guy? We've never seen any fucking emotions from him. 
He's become more powerful than any yeah, well, Jedi Zuko, ever. Well, Zuko showed emotion. Yeah. That's a, no, this isn't this isn't even a character in the Avatar universe. This is a cardboard cutout with a face smacked on it that has exposition buttons programmed into its back. It's like, Sokka, where do we go? We have to go to the North Pole. That's I hear there's more powerful I hear there are powerful waterbenders up there. That's what, what my grandfather said. What would you do if they took me away? Wait, wait. Click. I would kill them all. It's like, where's the humor? Where's the where's the lackadaisical attitude that he had throughout the entire friggin' series that, in all honesty, showed his insecurity and that he had to grow into being a more... Mm. You know, they could have solved it with one thing. What's that? Boomerang! Yes! Yes, the boomerang oh, would have boomerang. been perfect. You really do always come back. <laughs> Such there. a good thing. I loved it. I loved Done. that. You, and... These are kids, man. They're kids. They're they're for, between the ages of fourteen and sixteen. They're supposed to be like Aang troublemakers. Ang is twelve. Yeah, twelve. Okay, twelve to Aang twelve is, to sixteen. No, uh, okay, How, that's because I know Sokka. Because yeah. I know Sokka's older. Yeah, Sokka's like sixteen, and I think Katara is like four, thirteen, fourteen. She's a few years younger than him. Yeah. Um. Sokka in the movie. Sokka's fifteen, uh, uh-huh. which is. Considering Jackson also Rathbone correct. was in yeah. his 20s. Yeah, Sokka is 15, Katara is 14, okay. Aang is 12. Okay. Fair, fine, fair enough. So, Zuko is 16. So, yeah. Okay, I mean, Zuko like, 16. Like, okay. you're, you're right in that age range. <clears throat> and, and these are kids, man. I mean, they're teenagers. And if any one of these actors was replaced by a plank of wood... Not even with a face on it. Like from Ed and Eddie, the plank? Yes. Yeah. Would you know the difference? I wouldn't even put the face on it. Just, it is a two by four. Like, you hammer it into the ground and you just put the camera on that. Same dialogue. You lose nothing in this movie. Agreed. Agreed. Hell, we take the audio from this movie and we just refilm it with planks of wood. Might be better. You know what? I'm up for doing that. I'm up for doing that. Yes. 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 We are doing that. We are doing that to Mikey, prove a you fucking in? point. I, I don't want any of whatever that was. Can we, can we, borrow, your sledge- shade, can we borrow your sledgehammer? I don't have a sledgehammer. Oh, God. Then what good are you? I, you have a post hole digger. I think Dad does. I'll Kay. take it. That's it. Can we, borrow your, can we borrow your dad's post hole digger? I don't see why not. I mean, I Six. don't. Yes. I don't okay. speak then for my, we're good. Don't we're good. speak we for my father, this. but I've dug holes with my hands before, <clears> so, you know. I mean, do you think he'd do you think he'd be interested in loaning me his post hole digger? I mean, probably. Okay. My dad's got one. I mean, we could we could just, we could just we buy one. Options. I mean, yeah. But they're we, they're not wheel, expensive. Wheelbarrows are kind of expensive, though. So oh, I can get true. wheelbarrows. Oh yeah. My mom steals those off the side of the road. <laughs> when, I've impressive. never seen a wheelbarrow on the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah, probably you know your mom what? has them all. <laughs> yeah, you've obviously, yeah, <laughs> you've obviously never been to Southwest Virginia. Or actually, um, I would like jump a ditch for a wheelbarrow. Those things are expensive. Yeah, I, uh, I'll even tell you this right now. She, <sighs> she got one once. She was like, "Oh, it's out at the side of the road. That's out for the trash." Mom, there's potting soil and flowers in. She that. just stole somebody's wheelbarrow. Mom's a savage. My mom is a monster. Savage. Oh, don't, don't, do not praise her. Oh, I know. I'm not praising her. I'm just being stupid. Come on. <laughs> yeah, just All right. like her. Uh, oh, okay. Anyway. Wait, shall we get back? <clears throat> let's, let's just go back to whatever the hell this is. While we're on the subject, that does make this possibly one of the worst adaptations of all time. A show that created such memorable characters. Characters you almost believe were real. You wanted to be real. You wish they were real. <laughs> Melon Being Lord. portrayed as the most stock- Boring, empty vessels of just explaining more plot is about as insulting to an adaptation as you can get. By God, it's one of the few times I'm glad the characters I love so much aren't real. Could you imagine them actually seeing how they would be represented in movie oh, form? No. I fucking cringe. Yeah, I saw how they... long the drag skits are. That shows you how fast they're going. <laughs> My jokes are way funnier than this. There was the actually an episode where they saw a play based on their lives. I was practicing. Well, that's just silly. I don't sound like that. Yeah, you I left a few days ago. You're lying! I don't do that. That's not what I'm like. 
Who are you? What's your name? They make me look totally stiff and humorless. I ran away from <laughs> I mean, you got in a storm. I was just upset. Thanks for saving Lucky. I probably should get home. <laughs> upset? Not as much as I was. Yeah. Yep. Horrible. I'll Wait, say. I thought that one no dude was kidding. a bad guy. You said it. But the face. But the effects yeah. were decent. Let's uh, continue with our season one gets better. Wikipedia okay. recap as a character called the Blue Spirit breaks him free He's a and they fight their character. way out. I smell a Shyamalan over long overused tracking shot. Oh, right. That twist is in this. But there's no point because okay, there was guy. no build up. Tracking to it. shots are fine, but when you use them for every other fight scene, it not only gets old, but it slows the action down. It's obvious the actors have to wait for the camera to get into place. Thus taking a fight sequence that could There's be really quick and impressive cuts. and instead yeah. have half of it be them just standing around doing nothing. Could you imagine if the directors for John Wick would have done this? Oh. How, be how much better this tracking shot would have been? Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Or, God. Or the fight choreographers from uh, Kingsman. That'd be good too. Like, maybe not quite that fast. No, because those fight scenes are mile a fucking minute. Well, yeah, they're they're very excel. That's Matthew Vaughn's style, though. Yeah. Matthew Vaughn loves accelerated style of filmmaking. I mean, but you, yeah, go ahead. You know, at least it moves. Yeah, this one, it's uh. Well, you know what? I'll tell you. It's a bit like running a, uh, a manual viscometer. So what you do is you take mm. a liquid. Yeah. And you drip it into a tube. <coughs> and it runs down the side of that tube. Mm -hmm. And it hits a mark, and you start a stopwatch. Oh. And then it, when it hits the other mark, you stop the stopwatch. Oh, no. Some liquids never reach the bottom. I don't doubt that for a single solitary second. That's just like petroleum jelly. I guarantee you, petroleum jelly. Oh no, it's not that moves. bad. Oh really? It there are worse. Molasses. There are worse. Molasses is pretty bad. But there's. There were a lot of things. It, it was a specialty chemicals company. Okay. There were a lot of things there that were real viscous. Okay. Oh I boy. Get you. I yeah. get you. All right. So. Let's, let's, uh, yeah. yeah. It's about shot. the same speed as this fight scene. Yeah. That's why we have editing, you dumbass jerk! If part of the shot didn't they work even or did was hard to see, in there. you edit it out. But here, screw it. I just want to show off that I could do this in one shot. Okay, great. You can do it. It looks cluttered, slow, and incredibly awkward, but fuck, you could do it. Give that man a tediously obnoxious directing award. I think it's the same one that went to this person just a few years earlier. Why are you doing this? Ouch. Who are you? <laughs> Open the gates. So the blue spirit gets him out and is revealed to be Zuko. There's two reasons this curious scene was left in the movie rather than just having it cut out. One is that Chao and Zuko are in a race to bring the Avatar to the Fire Lord, meaning one of them can cement their position forever. And the other reason, of course, being just so Shyamalan can shout. What a twist! <laughs> ah, you knew that was coming. You think I forgot my that, that twist was even is in? Is this person the soldiers are calling Wait. the Blue Spirit? Yes. They're I recognized his mouth. Actually, to the film's very little credit, Chow, Zuko, and Iroh are probably the only decent actors in this film. They perform their parts well, well and Dev probably Patel have the closest and, thing to emotional uh, moments this film could muster. Uh, that is, Tony before Shu, it's cut off uh, needlessly for more exposition. There. Now be sure and, to keep your uniform. Uh, what uh, the uh, the guy who plays uh, the guy who plays Shao? Uh, I forget his name, but he's been in a I, lot of films. You know, as it happens, I still have the page open. Uh, uh, Dev Patel is Zuko. Yeah, Dev Patel. Um, <laughs> Sean Tube is Uncle Tube, Iroh. Yes. Oh, and, Sean Tube. Uh, I'm probably horribly mispronouncing this. Uh, Asif Mandvi. Asif Mandvi. Okay. As Commander Zhao. Asif Mandvi. I thought that was... Uh, probably he's probably a different actor then. Let me... Yeah, I, I'm i I'm trying to place the guy in my head. Oh, he was... On. Let's see. Of, uh, uh, hmm. What, okay, uh, there we go. what else did you think he was in? Oh, mother of God. Really? Jesus. Uh, uh, I've got I've got it right here. Let me. Okay. 
Let me get this. It's <laughs> I I remember the movie that he was in. It was there it is. Uh Cliff Curtis. Cliff Curtis is the guy's name. Hmm. Um I thought that was him, but it's apparently not. Uh Let's see. Let me let me make doubly sure. Uh, interestingly enough, other roles. Oh, he people. was. Oh no, he was Ozai. Okay, my mistake. Cliff Curtis is Ozai. Okay, my mistake. Okay, my mistake. Yeah. Well, Cliff Curtis. The thing about him is he's New. Ze- he's a New Zealand Maori, uh, Maori New Zealander, but he strangely plays every other ethnicity except for a Maori a Ma- someone who's Maori. Like mm-hmm. he's played Latinos. He's played. He's played uh, Indians. He's played. Uh, he's played Pakistanis. He's played everything except for a Maori, which is which is hilarious to me. Wait a minute. What? I forgot. Why did they <laughs> even put her in this movie? Who? Uh, Azula. Oh, ah. Who would have yeah. been a much better character? Cause yeah, she's, yeah, yeah. Well, at least she shows emotions. Yes. I mean, well, an emotion. Angry. Angry. Very and angry. Contempt. Anger and contempt. Are Deviousness. Ah, very, very good. All right, so let's let's continue. Yeah. Come close up to your neck, and remember, your cheek can warm you. I know, Uncle. By the way, nephew, as your uncle, I care for you very much. Oh, more story, more story. Sorry, sorry, more story. So Aang and the team finally make their way to the North Pole, and oh God, is this it? Is oh, this oh be I've it? heard Please about this. Me, this is it. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> The stories were true. The haircut. into the holy grail of comedic possibilities. Oh my god, there's too many jokes to choose from. Oh, which one should I go with? Which one should I go with? Um, this one. Hey, what did she use for a headband? A sensor bar? Oh, Doug, you need to do a top ten on that. Oh, thank you, Shyamalan. Thank you for your unintentional hilarity. You're welcome. Now, there it is. Yep. Here. It's Shyamalan. (laughs) (laughs) My blood bending should be working. It's no use. He cares nothing for the logic of this realm, so he barely follows it. Quick, critic, finish the review so you can restore balance. Oh, uh, okay. So in the show, Sokka and the princess of the Northern Water Tribe form a very powerful friendship, eventually resulting in a romance that would ultimately end in tragedy. Let's see if the movie does too. My brother and the princess became friends right away. Oh, God. And that's all you need! Yes, all the emotions and character developed can just be summed up in that one (sighs) sentence. God, Shyamalan's writing knows how to cut the fat of all that pesky caring. God, why do we Character listen to all that pesky talk in Hamlet when it could have been summed up with? The prince didn't like his uncle. Hijinks ensued. <laughs> That's good. That's pretty That's good. That's good. Also, David Tennant, scary. Yeah, right. Very skinny. Very scary. And very skinny. Yeah. <laughs> Give no, him a hug and get a paper uh, cut. Honestly, you know what's even scarier? What's that? Matt Smith is a Terminator. Oh, that's right. And not just a Terminator, as fucking Skynet. Skynet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, kudos, but also, what? what? Yeah, I get that. I mean, I could see Matt Smith playing a villain. Matt I Smith could, too. Matt Smith would play an excellent villain. But I'm in. But, but not Skynet? that villain. But Skynet? Really? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, yes, anyway. Right. When did he play Skynet? Uh, Genesis. Genesis. No, I never saw it. Be Probab- thankful. Probably for the best. Well, from what I understand, they're pretty much redacting all that. Honestly, just just keep the first three movies. Yeah. Maybe not even the... Well, third one I would keep strictly because of the ending. Yeah, I mean... Because the ending saved that film. Was it Genesis? I have to be absolutely... Yes, sure. it was Genesis where Matt Smith played a Terminator. I thought Salvation was pretty interesting. Salvation had an interesting premise, but its execution was about equal to that of a child painting with his own shit. Again, interesting. It applies. I mean, he's... Okay. <clears throat> he's not wrong. <coughs> Fair. Yeah, it was Genesis. I had to be absolutely sure. I understand. Sorry. You know. Okay, but anyway. Yeah, keep going. Away from Scary Tenant. Yeah. Oh, 
I take it back. They do have one conversation, but thankfully, it's not used to develop character or form a strong bond. Yeah. It's for, you guessed it, more explaining. When I was born, I was not awake. My mother and father could not get me to make a sound or move. So they prayed for days to the moon spirit. Please, no more explaining. <coughs> She'll say. Why is your hair white, young lady? You look very odd. I don't know. Why are you so white? So both Ouch. Aang and Katara master their water bending from Bill Connolly Theoden, and as you can see, <laughs> yeah. there's no stopping their incredible abilities now. It, okay, you see, where's the special effects that can look be around them right now, like fly. showing what they're right? doing? Or something like that. I mean, the movements are right. This is Nobody this is very similar to the, the water bending movie. power that these Me? two. Okay, here's another problem with the movie: the bending takes forever. The original keeps the action quick and oh, yeah. exciting, as well Bending's action should be. Fast. Maybe yes. two moves could do something impressive, but here <clears throat> I could heat up a hot pocket before these guys do anything exciting. If the opening was being honest, here's how it should really go: water. Yeah. Water. Come on! It's like pulling off a fatality in Mortal Kombat. Water! Or press like 20 buttons. Not wearing a watch. Yeah. Watch. Ah! Now <laughs> they kept that! Yeah. What? yeah. Water Fire Nation getting ready to attack and the Water Tribe ready to defend themselves. Ooh. Ooh. With a call that lures them into a false sense of hilarity, Aang tries to figure out a way to fight them off without... Actually... Hey, look, everybody. It's White Little Richard. <laughs> you got me. You got me. Yes. No, no. I got you. I'm just glad I got you. Uh, go go ahead. Pack and the Water Tribe ready to defend themselves. I can't believe they got Howlin' Wolf for this. <laughs> call that yeah. little sense of Micah, you got any of these? No, I sure don't. But with Man. the Fire Nation getting <laughs> one of these I got, I got one, I got one. Tribe ready to defend themselves. All right, everybody, let's check out this Led Zeppelin cover band. Ooh. Not very good. With the will be very No, no, okay, do, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Wait, go for it. Uh, yeah. Nah, just hit it. Ooh. Child, things with are gonna get easier. With the lures them into a false... <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, Fire Nation getting ready to attack and the water tribe ready to Alright guys, let's get ready. And now it's like, alright guys, let's get ready. Ah, stub my toe! All that lures them in. Or, uh... To a false uh, sense of... Help. Yeah, here we go. Spartans! With the Fire Nation getting ready to attack and the water tribe Spartans, ready to Spartans, what is your themselves. profession? Into a false oh, all right, all right, that's <laughs> okay. enough of that. Okay, all right, that's good. Uh, that's good. <laughs> never had any ad lib training because somebody asked about that in the comments of the Deadpool video. No, we, I've never, like, I had like two years of acting, but we never did like full improv. Never had any. Aang tries to figure out a way to fight them off without killing anybody, as it's not the monk's way. Is there a spiritual place where <coughs> I can meditate? There is a very spiritual place. So he comes across the moon spirit, who's disguised as a fish. Hey. Yeah, that wasn't the best explained in the show either, but Aang meditates to figure out an answer. Yeah, it could have been better. I have to get back. I'll take you. I'll stay with him. Um, Katara doesn't seem like the best person to look after him. I mean, don't get me wrong, in the other version, it made sense. She had a kind, mature heart, but also the focus and strength to kick some ass in several awesome scenes. Nobody in their right mind would dare cross her. But in the movie, she pushed a guy. Uh, I love that guy. Well, maybe she'll finally be allowed to show her real strength when Prince Zuko comes and tries to take Aang away. And seeing how she made it very clear how Aang is her responsibility, she's gonna do everything in her power to make sure nothing happens to him. And you suck! Katara and Sokka, as useful as no smoking signs in college. Or, but Aang uh, wakes up and escapes to go through guy. the most masterful approach possible. Uh, Reenacting a Tom and Jerry <laughs> routine. Right. I love that guy. He's the best. Okay. 
But things go awry when Chow finds the moon spirit and kills it, destroying not only the moon, but the tribe's barely impressive waterbending. Yeah, been anointed by the moon spirit. He gave me life when I was a child. And there's still a chance. But since the princess was given part of the spirit to save her, she sacrifices her own life in order to put the moon spirit back in its place. Do we package that in something else other than a koi? I mean, it's the yin yang. I can hardly explain what I'm seeing, John, but the moon just came back. Thanks. This Shao getting axed, Slumdog <laughs> Millionaire returning to his uncle, Aang raising the waves to scare the rest of the army off. By the way, for someone who can't kill, I don't think these guys made it out okay. Well, the to be continued that thank Jesus will never be continued. Now you must stop the Avatar from mastering earth and fire. You must give us the time to get to that day. Do you accept this unspeakably important task I'm putting in your hands? I do, Father. No. Yeah. One line in the film. Azula. One line in the film. I don't buy it. No. Azula never said anything. She looked genuinely happy. Yes. That was all. Azula has never looked genuinely happy in her life. Yes! Unless she was roasting a man alive in his own entrails. Or, or, if there was an opportunity for her to impress her father. Or, uh, make her brother look really stupid. Exactly. That's, yes, that's the other. Uh, shorthand, Azula is a bad bitch. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. Yep. And she is younger than Zuko, but... And she is twice as angry. Well, here's the thing about her. She's a prodigy, quite literally, a prodigy of firebending. She mastered, she mastered, like, high art, like, like, master, like, master level stuff when she was just a kid. Which shows you just how badass she is. And she is a constant reminder to her brother of how unimportant and of how much of a failure he is. Uh, it's it's something. I need <clears throat> to find. You know what? After we finish Gravity Falls, I'm up for doing the Last Airbender. I'm in. I'm up for doing Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, <clears throat> is there an actual? God, it, I wish there was a transcript for the script of this movie, because <clears throat> I guess I guarantee we could find it somewhere. Well, I just did a quick Google, a quick Google, but the thing is, I want to know because this this would tell you if he's even seen the show. How many times does Prince Zuko say the word honor? honor. I'm guessing it's I'm guessing very few, very if few, nine, if any zero. at all. Zuko says the word honor all the fucking time, because which is why we can make that joke. Yes. Yeah, because he's all about restoring his honor. Yes. Honor, honor, yes. honor, 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 honor. Yeah. Thank you, Dante Bosco. Your honor, your honor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just, just, just get us out of here. All right. Yes, I am sure as you'll join the Super Mario Brothers, Skeletor, Buckaroo Banzai, the Golden Compass, and M. Bison's hand in that incredible sure to happen sequel. What a piece of shit. It's not working. The review isn't hurting him. Don't you have anything else? Not really, no. I can't hold a fucking powder. Uh -oh. Don't do something. <laughs> wow. Too late. He's been shamalized. Hi, guys. I just want to stand directly in the middle of the shot and stare blankly into the camera. Oh, no. You two are next. Critic, it's not too late. Get in contact with your other life. Meditate. He'll come to <clears throat> us as a spirit animal. Quickly, there's no time! Oh, yeah, that was a... Okay, I'll try. Oh, good. Uh, He'll come to us as spirit animal. Spirit animal. Is it... Is it gonna be... Ra is it gonna be Raptor Rob? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Bullshit! This is my spirit animal? <coughs> God, why did I write this world so convoluted? 
Okay, whatever. Hi, hi, what do you want? I need to know how to defeat the Shyamalan. A literal um, blue build, blue, blue build rabbit eared uh, plaid opposed. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know! Avatar was weeks ago. I'm reviewing Legend of Korra now. Really? How's that? That's okay, but it's no Avatar. I guess we get down to it, there can really only be one Avatar. Well, keep in mind, this was only at, I think this was after you'd only seen it. the first season of Korra. I got it! I know how to restore balance to the franchise! Oh, thank you, Platypus Buddy! It's Doug, actually. Platypus Buddy, you saved it's the Doug. world! Doug Walker, that's the full name there. I'll always remember you, Platypus, Platypus Buddy. Buddy. God, why did I write you so stupid? Why did I write you so stupid? Wait a minute! Guys, I figured it out! I know how to save the franchise! How? Do nothing! Yeah, here we go. You're right, we got the wrong guy. I blame myself. You should. No, you don't understand. The franchise was never out of balance to begin with. The movie is awful. The acting is awkward. The writing beyond lazy. And it fails both trying to be a faithful adaptation <clears throat> and a standalone movie. But it could never be a standalone movie because there's only one Avatar. The series. It was perfectly paced, perfectly performed, perfectly animated. It was that rare anomaly that chances are could never be recreated. And there's no reason to change it. It's like trying to make an opera by Mozart better. You can't do it. Every note is where it needs to be. I'm sure there'll be different adaptations in the future the same way people did with Looney Tunes or other timeless characters, but the point is the original characters are still timeless characters. And nothing anyone can do can change that. This is why if I'm anything, the bad adaptation makes us appreciate the original material even more. So you can do whatever you want to the franchise. Because no matter what, nothing can take away or make any better what's already perfect. Well, that's great, Critic, but... Yeah, still gonna do evil things. Oh, right, right. Hmm. How would an Avatar series end this? Um... Come on, Doug. They use this machina. <laughs> hey. Wait, are you Last Airbender Ang or Legend of Korra Ang? I don't care. Wait, I thought Ang wasn't allowed to kill. Whatever. Of course, I understand what this he's saying. Don't get too offended <laughs> at all the changes made as long as you still have the original to enjoy, right? I don't know. Sure. Sure. Well, maybe sometimes the best way to keep balance is to realize that balance is already being kept. Enjoy your incredibly awesome show and enjoy hating your incredibly awful movie. Yeah, that's basically it. What is your day? That was. That was. <laughs> <laughs> Tarong? No. Oh. Not. Oh my god. Dude. What? No. Jesus, okay. Wow. <coughs> oh my god, Doug. You might have killed Ben there with the credits. That was perfect. That could not have been yeah, it couldn't have been done any better. Okay, so everybody out there, um, whenever we finish Gravity Falls, we're gonna we're gonna do a little Ooh thinking but i'm thinking we need to probably avatar do might, avatar Avatar's, the last uh, airbender as the next series I'd, I'd go so far as to say avatar the last airbender is on the short list yeah you know. i mean i'm not gonna say it's definite but it's it's on the short list so yeah you know. so i guess we'll have to see really i mean geez this okay this movie is really just, deep for a kid's show oh yeah really I mean, deep like it's You'll like it. I mean, you... you I Okay. Think. I'm pretty sure. You like Gravity Falls, Micah. Yeah. And 
<laughs> Micah sounds like he hasn't uttered a word in many moons. <clears throat> many moons. Well, any, well, anyway, yep. Gravity Falls is sort of, well, okay, I'll say that. Avatar The Last Airbender is kind of the precursor to kids' shows being taken more seriously. Because when you think about it, in the mid two thousands, in the mid two thousands, all these kids shows kept coming out, and <clears throat> none of them were memorable. I don't remember any shows from like the mid two thousands, other than like I don't know Rocket Power. But Rocket Power, I think, went off like two thousand two. I think. Look, I didn't have cable, so I can't help you. Okay, okay. Well, anyway, Avatar: The Last Airbender came out, and all of a sudden you had. This massive fandom come out of nowhere, and... And, I mean, rightly so. Yeah, and it's because this show commanded so much, like, like it had such good storytelling, such great characters, I mean, spellbinding animation. Yeah, there was, there was gravity to it, but they didn't have, <clears throat> like, they didn't have their heads so far up their own ass that they couldn't make a joke. Yeah. And... It had that that great level of, okay, we're going to make a joke, and then it's immediately going to be serious again, and you're not going to get whiplash. Good luck with that. Because, I mean, there are, there are a few shows I can think of that have pulled that off. MASH is the one that really springs MASH to mind. MASH is a good one, yeah. Um, but, yeah, Avatar pulls that off. Mm-hmm. You know, thank God for Sokka. <laughs> Sokka, Sokka, best character in the show. Sokka was, it was up there as one of my favorite characters. Another one that, uh, Lee May. Lee May was also a good character. I thought she was like the Daria of that universe. Zuko's, Zuko's girlfriend. Uh, was that her name? I thought, I think so. Because there was Ty Lee, <laughs> Lee May, and Azula. They were the, uh, the trio. You mean my? Was it my? Am I thinking of the wrong one? Uh, let's see. I think so. <clears throat> Maybe yeah. Lee. Uh, uh, my problem. My. Okay. Yeah. My mistake. It was. It was my. Yeah. Okay. Forgive yeah, me. I was like, wait. Forgive me. What? I just got shamalized. No, it's. Yeah, it's it's fine. Okay, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, all right. I I'm sorry, y'all, but. <clears throat> okay, we, yeah, we talked a lot about you know the stuff that we that we uh, <laughs> that we had problems with during the review, and I can safely say this: I am so glad that we took the time to watch this, and I'm glad you all recommended it. I'm and glad I've never actually seen that movie. Also, looky here, looky who passed a million subscribers. Wait, actually, or did it just round up? I think actually, yeah, let's let's check. Let's get an let's, actual count. Because I know that the rounding is sometimes fucky. Oh, uh, I hit the wrong button. Let's see. God, where is Stats, there's total views, but... Is it on the home? Oh, there it is. Oh. One, yeah. Yeah. One million, one He's thousand, a thousand thirteen. over. So, congrats, Doug. Congratulations, man. Excellent. Holy crap. That's awesome that he hit a million subs. Great. I'm, ha I'm glad he got there. I am, too. I mean, jeez, man. I... Also, Long time that, coming. also, that channel banner is fan. Yeah, I I agree, hundred percent. Holy crap! Let me, you know what? Let me let me see if I can write a comment down here. See <laughs> see if y'all can find it. <laughs> I love some of these comments. He gets so red. I thought he was gonna was gonna pop, which I read as I thought he was gonna poop. Which, let's be real, yeah, poop happens, dude. You ever seen a man be uh, calm but angry? It's that face. The poop face? Mm-hmm. The poop face. Calm but angry. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. I like it. All right. But, yeah, no, we, we need to yeah. watch this series. Yeah, this will probably be the series we pick up after we're done with Gravity Falls. I'd like. I'd like. I just that. want to sit down and watch the series again. Oh yeah, man! It's and been a long time since I've seen that. it. It has, um, and I'm I'm wondering how I'm going to process it now versus when I did when I first watched it. As somebody who watched it 
well after it came out. Like, somebody who watched it as Korra was coming out. Oh, okay. So you watched it around 20, uh, 2013, 2014. Yeah. It's still fantastic. Well, I, I know it like holds up. I mean, everyone like, I've I don't, to I don't have up. the nostalgia filter about it. Oh, And it's I really do. good. I mean, <laughs> I have some problems with the series that get addressed <clears throat> pretty immediately in Korra. Which after we do after we do last Airbender we'll probably do core. I don't yeah. know. We'll have to see. So yeah. I mean it's what just like seven seasons of television. It's fine. Oh God. Uh, well. Yeah. Well, it's last like well, when last somebody Airbender... actually brings up the the whole thing. You're like, oh. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> like, All right. What? So. We're gonna have to end it here, everybody. So once again, congratulations, Doug, on the one million subs. Also, you did it, buddy. Also, thank you all so much for recommending this time and time and time again. We hope that you liked what we had to say about it. If not, eh, we don't care. Just, just joking. I mean, you know, we we care so long as you actually bring in like valid Uh, and valid criticism, valid and cogent points, and aren't just like you fuckers are fat and I don't like you. Or or or, or, uh, who's that Godzilla in the corner? I'm like, wait, me. Or, or Micah wearing the slippers. You gotta bring the slippers yeah, back. Yeah, you gotta bring the slippers back sometime. Or rather, just take your socks off. Come on. Yeah, because those are your real feet, right? Brr. Wink. Yeah. <laughs> all um, right, so thank you all. Ooh, once. Or, what? or, God, this channel sucks. God, this channel sucks. Hey, guys, I subbed. God, this channel sucks. Oh, yeah, that happened. Lord. Like the same guy said all those? Yeah. On live stream within three minutes. Yeah. So they were just wanting some kind of a response. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they got it. Bam. Insta ban. And then they kept coming back, and they kept getting banned. And yeah. We pretty much didn't say anything about it. No. That's that's all you can do. Thanks, you mods. With it. Thank you, mods. I think Jacob got one of them. <coughs> I'm proud of him. <coughs> Good uh, shot. Yeah. All right, everybody. Well... That's going to do it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you want to see the original video, uh, click the uh, link down below in the description. Take you to the uh, Channel Awesome channel. Check them out. Check out all the videos Doug and his crew's got. Also, uh, don't forget to check out our various other endeavors. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later, everyone. Peace out. Uh